So my talk is on cubes and cubes. Uh, I think we know the first one is Kubernetes, hopefully. Second one is puzzle cubes. And I have props that are not very well organized. So here, has anyone solved anyone Rubik's cube, speed cubes? OK. Uh, Rubik's cube is the original brand name. Um, it has plur pr proliferated. The generic name these days is usually speed cube. There are all kinds of cubes. Uh, but this is a standard three by three. This one, it doesn't have stickers. It's solid plastic, but it's the same, same thing. So you solve, you solve one of these cubes, you use algorithms, and they're called algorithm, algorithms, and you pattern match, and then you have a set of moves that you memorize, and it moves pieces around into predictable places so you, that you can do another pattern match and use another algorithm and eventually, hopefully, solve your, your cube. Uh, we're gonna call this one Maybe, I don't know if there's, there's not really a generic standard Kubernetes cluster, but this is pretty close. Let's just say you don't have any CRDs, you don't have anything, no super fancy controllers, you're just got a very simple, like maybe a K3S cluster or something running in a small, small environment. So here's our standard cube. So these are all actually the same. These are all three layer, three by three by three. They just are different colors, different sizes. Uh, but they all, you know, they move the same way, they solve the same way. So maybe you have a generic cluster, but it's running, you're running it in different cloud environments, or maybe, you know, little, little things like that. Now, it comes, clusters come in different sizes. These are all even, these are all cubes that are like this, except they get bigger. And I don't have bigger. Okay, this one is my magic end cube. <laughs> this is a seven by seven layer. Um, the interesting thing about these cubes is that they solve basically the same way. You just need to learn a few extra algorithms, but once you can solve a four layer, you can solve a five layer, you can solve a 10 layer. They go up to commercially available 21 layers. I do not have a 21 layer cube. So in these are here, you know, there's in front, there's a two by two, uh, bigger three by three, six, you know, five by five, six by six. So these are all cubes also. Uh, the interesting thing is, if I scramble them, they look like this. Some of them are no longer cubes. The thing is, these all solve like this. A few little differences, but it's basically like a Kubernetes cluster. You know, you have cubes that look radically, clusters that look radically, radically different, but at the bottom, you know, it's the same API endpoint. You might have a few CRDs. You might have some weird controllers running, but you talk to them the same way. You're using the same client. Everything is really similar. So these these are basically the same. They're they're using the same core. They're the moves are very similar. You might need to know a couple extra tricks, but it's not. Once you know the basic solution, you can get most of the way there. Just like once you know basically how to run a Kubernetes cluster, you can you know you're just adding on to that. This is my cat sniffing. <laughs> She's very helpful. So these are also, this is interesting. You have a standard cube. The thing next to it is also a cube. It's not a physical cube, but it solves, again, the same way. You use the same set of algorithms. You use the same way. So we'll, I don't know. We'll call that maybe an OpenShift cluster. <laughs> So these are also cubes. However, these do not solve the same way. This one kind of rotates funny. Funny, you cannot use the same algorithm, so we will call this maybe OpenStack or something. Mesos. Uh, this is, again, this one's scrambled. So at some point, I thought, I really want to maybe, I saw this kit online. Uh, I'm like, I could build my own cube. It's purple. I want a purple cube. Uh, they send this to me. It did not have instructions. <laughs> so it's like a meta puzzle. It's, how do I put this together? Uh, so it's like, I, I thought of it, it's like Kelsey Hightower's <laughs> Kubernetes the hard way. <laughs> so you can see the core here. It's partially assembled. And then the end, the end cube, which works. It actually works. I actually did not have a picture of the stickers, but I have different shades of purple stickers. It's very pretty. So this is also a cube. <laughs> uh, 
This also solves the same way in theory. Oh. In theory, it solves the same way. Uh, I just got it on Friday. I have not had a chance to solve it. I spent about 30 minutes on it. My brain hurt. Uh, I will solve it someday, but it's, it's like a cluster that somebody really over-configured. Maybe you've got Istio or something on there. I don't know. 